Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to look at tonight is something that I've been picking up over the last week or so. The media is desperate to draw up the whole gun conversation again. You'll notice a few of the things we've been covering have been around the potential and what could happen and why is it going to happen. That's what we're going to highlight right now. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And I want to show you this because this is what they do. They manipulate opinion and listen to the details here. Now, of course, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We are distributing freedom twice daily, and we would love to have you along for the ride. And the content today is brought to you by USCCA. Now, USCCA is more than just the right to bear arms. It's also a resource for your before, during, and after a self-defense incident. If you're not one of the 500,000 USCCA members who have access to their training, who have access to their support, it's worth a look. There's a link in the description box below. They've sponsored this content, and thank you so much to USCCA for making this content possible to give you that support. Now, my brothers and sisters, we have got to get to the manipulation that the media is forcing down our throats because this is important. If you follow the media, you will find out who's behind it. The Democrats are using the media to force this conversation unnaturally. It's at a stalemate. Check this out. My gut feeling, they're about to pull something. But anyway, let's keep going. We'll keep watching. After a holiday week marred by mass shootings, Congress faces demands to rekindle efforts to reduce gun violence. I wonder whose demands they're facing, because it sounds like the demands are from Democrats demanding it of themselves and the media who is parroting those points. This is incredibly important to understand. We've talked about on this channel since the beginning. The media will always float trial balloons. They will always come out and garner up support for the leftist gun control causes. They do it all the time. They've done it consistently since Biden was inaugurated and even before that, but we've been covering since Biden. But the big thing here, this is incredibly important because we're seeing this across the board. And this came out today. My bet, you're going to see a gun control push pretty soon. I can't tell you when, but I think it's coming. Scott, this is the mayor of Baltimore, by the way, is a former city council member who previously represented one of the northernmost sections of the city with a troubling, stubborn history of gun violence. He wanted to make a plea to America and more specifically to Washington that morning. Quote, we need Congress to act on this issue, Scott told CBS News the morning began. It's a message and a phrase he would repeat at an afternoon press conference, standing with his top officials and acting police commissioner. You see what they're doing? They're putting it up on a pedestal. They've given him all the ammunition. They've given him all the talking points. They've given him all the exposure. Now they're circling about and using it as a trial balloon to see if they can rally Democrats to get this done. The discharge petition they've been trying, that's what they want. We'll see if they make it happen. One day earlier, a sea of gunfire erupted at the 27th annual Holiday Week Community Cookout in Baltimore's Brooklyn neighborhood. At least 30 people were struck. Two of them died. Though multiple shooters and guns are suspected to have been part of the rampage, in a city with zero gun stores, only one person, a 17-year-old, has been arrested so far, someone who cannot legally have a handgun. So you've got multiple shooters, multiple firearms, and the only person arrested is a 17-year-old who cannot legally have said firearm. You tell me again how gun control would prevent this? This is all handguns, so we should probably call for an assault weapons ban, right? Yeah, it's coming. But the whole point is it's lunacy. It's complete lunacy. The media is carrying this. Trust me, there's something up. Though Congress is just one year removed from passing a law that enhanced background checks for gun buyers under 21 and closed the loophole to prevent convicted domestic abusers from purchasing firearms for, ye for five years, the July 4th holiday week ended with a new series of calls on Washington to do more, and not just from Baltimore's mayor. You see how this works? The media got the Senate bipartisan deal. They didn't get what they wanted. Chris Murphy said it's a good starting point. Uh, Blumenthal said it was a good starting point, both senators. And now they're pounding that war drum again. They will never stop. There is no common sense. There is no finish line except when they are all gone. Do not believe the lie that they try to pitch you. For example, here's some quotes. There is more work to do, including establishing truly universal background checks, national registry, background check between every single gun purchase, peer-to-peer, -peer, everything. <sighs> oh, banning assault weapons and large capacity ammunition feeding devices, closing more loopholes related to illegal gun purchases, cracking down on gun trafficking and more, said Democratic Rep. Chantel Brown of Ohio on Sunday. 
Her comments came in the wake of a mass shooting of nine people in Cleveland, one of nearly 30 mass shootings in the U.S. already in July. And we've already covered that mass shooting. It looked a whole lot more like a gang initiation than anything else. But, you know, whatever gives them talking points, right? This is the last thing, and this is going to tie this all up for you guys. Democratic Representative Jared Moskowitz, an alumnus of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and the congressman who represents the city of Parkland, Florida, told CBS News he continues to receive daily phone calls from constituents using con urging Congress to act. Poll after poll shows the majority of Americans support extended efforts to curb gun violence. If members truly represent their constituents, wouldn't they vote to support measures the American people want and will save lives, Muskowitz said. Uh, the irony on that one is pretty rich. We'll just stick to the gun stuff right now. So, first of all, he's citing things that don't exist. He's citing gun control friendly polls. We've already shown you multiple polls that do not support that at all, and it's a heavy split. That's the first thing. The other thing on this article as a whole, when you look at this, it is an entire the entire thing is a trial balloon floated by the media, initiated by Democrats, aimed at more Democrats. I'm telling you, from my experience and what we've done, gone through together, this type of consistent beating of the war drum around doing more, doing more, discharge petition, do more, you're going to see some sort of movement going forward. I can't tell you what it is, but I can tell you they don't usually orchestrate these types of campaigns unless something's up. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments field below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.